What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching another video here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to rebuild an M54 double Vanos unit. Okay, so I went on, I think it was Amazon I got it off of, uh, the full complete Phenos rebuild kit. Uh, it has everything in it, the anti-rattle, the bearings and everything, the screws, the caps, all this good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and so it even has a seal. So that's what's up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and these right here. 10 millimeters, make sure you got your uh, magnet tray. Magnet tray to put everything in there so you don't lose it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these, get a screwdriver, pop them out. Let me separate these two for which side is which. So I've got these on one side and the other on the other side. I'm pretty sure they're the same size, but you know, just in case. Pop. Be careful with the other one too. The other one might pop too, but this hasn't popped yet, so be careful about that. Uh, that's something I forgot about because I've done it before. So there we go. Lots of oil. Make sure you got something to catch everything. And let's go ahead and knock this out. Um, I'll put everything on the screen because I need my music while I work, like I always say. But uh, let's get to it. All right, so I've got everything out basically. Uh, these pieces are out. Uh, these are the pieces that have the seals on them. So this one right here, that's one of them. This is for the, uh, what you call it, the passenger side. So clean that up. And I've got the other one here. This is for the driver side that just slides into here. So, all this is going to get re-lubed, going to get re-oiled and everything like that, but I'm just cleaning everything off right now. Uh, these both have nuts on them. These nuts are 24 millimeters, so I'm going to try to break them. I'm not sure how I'm going to break them, but I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know exactly how I did it. But I'm going to uh, attempt to do that now. Alright, so if you use a 24 millimeter uh, socket, you should be able to get it off if you've got an impact gun. Um, I used mine, it worked. So now this is off. Get that off. You've got your anti rattle bearing in here. Uh, you've got your washer here at the top. Make sure to change out all this stuff. If I have it in the kit, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, this one also. Same thing. I probably should have that on there. But yeah. Uh, Pull that out, and you've got your anti-rattle uh, bearings and everything in here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty these out. Voila, that's one and two. There you go, drop them out. Uh, and then you've, you have inside here, you have this other bearing. Uh, this one right here. So as you can see, it was, uh, Rattle, the anti-rattle here at the back, and then the spacer, and then another one, and the bearings on the outside. So what I'm gonna do it now is get these out. I don't know how I'm gonna get them out because I'm pretty sure I need a pick, I think. Let me see if I can do it with a pick. No, not really. So I'll probably need to use a magnet. So if I use a magnet, I'll let you guys know what I did with that to pull these outer rim out. All right, so I actually just used the pick and the pick worked really well. So here we have it. And it's completely empty here. So the first thing you want is the big washer to go in. Next thing you want is your spacer. There you go. Pop the spacer back in there. Just work around the edges, make sure you can get it all the way down. 
all the way down. Next, you're gonna take one of your anti-rattle, pop that in. Next thing is your uh, other big washer. And make sure I clean this off. Make sure everything is clean that you're putting in here because you don't want any dirt grinding between there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'll just drop oil on everything. Next thing is your other anti-rattle. That's in there, drop that one in there, that's in there. Put that in. And then we're gonna take this, our cover, and put it right back over. Just like that. And after that, I'll take my impact gun. shops and then this one is done so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and I'm also gonna pull off the uh, seals off of here uh, seals I've got to make sure to line them up uh, they're not really flimsy so uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a pain but we'll get it done so uh, seals there those two seals and then uh, we'll go on to this one Okay, these right here. So these have two separate seals. You have the outer seal, which is this one. This one is a hard plastic. And then you have your rubber seal on here. You can either cut this one if you want, or if you just want to use a screwdriver, a really thin screwdriver, to pry it and then work your way around if you lift it over. Uh, you could do that. Um, once you remove though, that one, then inside here, you'll have your actual uh, rubber seal here that one right there that you'll remove also too so you've got two seals one two and then here two seals one two and you'll do that for both and then swap them out um, it may beat my behind so I'm probably not going to uh, show the whole thing of me doing it that's one seal going on there and then let me see how easy this one goes on just put it in there put that one in already giving me problems um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and work with that uh, try not to break it so let me go ahead and knock this out
Okay, uh, double Venos rebuild is done. Uh, not rebuild, but anti-rattle kit installed. So you'll be using the washers that come in it already. Uh, you can also do yourself a favor and push from the back here to make sure like these actuate or these move. Um, let me see if I can move that one. Yep, so that one moves. And then this one is spring. So just make sure they're moving freely. Uh, oil them up, oil everything up because that's gonna have oil in it anyways. So it's just good, uh, good practice. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video for the double Venos uh, rebuild anti rattle kit install for the M54 engine. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, turn on those notifications, and hit that share button. Hitting that share button helps me greatly. Hopefully this video helps someone. Uh, so I will catch you guys in the next video.